bringing a concept to life early in the design stage through product renderings and animations can help accelerate sales and marketing initiatives. Let's see how Visualize 2022 makes it easier than ever to generate professional level outputs for any user. HDRI environments have long been supported in Visualize. These 3D assets not only apply a background image, but also include some scene lighting. This lakeside environment has the perfect sunlight source, but the background image will need to be replaced with something that's more targeted to a potential commercial audience. Since 2D stock images are easily accessible and come in all shapes and sizes, these can add the perfect touch to any rendering, but traditionally require a trial and error process to align the model's perspective to that of the background image itself. Visualize 2022 simplifies this process dramatically with the new match camera capability. Using the two-point perspectives of the horizon and the ship's structure, along with the ship's walkway, the camera's focal length is calculated and applied to the 3D geometry. This builds additional photorealism into the project by seamlessly integrating the 2D image and the 3D model. The next step is to make sure the location of the light source and the 3D environment aligns with the light source in the background image. Rotating the previously added HDRI environment and watching for the Nemo shadows to align with the shadows on the decking is easy. Unfortunately, the shadows casted off of the Nemo seem to bleed through the ship's wall. This is no longer a problem in Visualize 2022. Primitive geometry can come in handy for multiple scenarios, and in this case, the wall primitive brings in a vertical plane, which can be positioned and scaled to replicate the wall location seen in the image. New in Visualize 2022 is the ability to convert this geometry to a shadow catcher, which leaves the shadow exposed while removing the primitive geometry, giving the exact level of detail needed to this rendering. For the next image, capturing the Nemo in its natural habitat is a must. Leveraging configurations and additional cameras in Visualize is an easy way to keep all your renderings in a single project. For an under the water shot, updating the HDRI environment and the background image from the library asset is just a simple drag and drop. As we saw before, it's important to replicate the scene lighting as close as possible. This time, an additional area light is added by switching to the top view and using the add to match camera to create the light source. At any point, you can switch between live rendering or preview mode, which is an easy way to manage system performance when you're setting up your project, such as adding and positioning additional 3D assets. For this image, including a blue line snapper adds a nice touch, but what about a school of fish? Previous versions of Visualize had the ability to create model formations, but required two or more instances. New in Visualize 2022, patterns can now be created from a single instance. And with the scatter feature, randomizing these fish by defining the number of instances, along with the bounty box parameters makes this process a snap. For the final rendering, a third configuration is created to capture an exploded animation of the Nemo. With the timeline enabled, groups are selected and keyframed to define their start and end positions. Going through this process of keyframing multiple parts and groups can quickly clutter the timeline. Now in Visualize 2022, items added to the animation timeline can be nicely organized into folders using the group option. The animation ribbon can also be color-coded, making it easy to find and reposition these keyframes right into the perfect place. The first camera is all set to a nice wide-angle perspective and it is keyframed into the timeline. Now a single camera can capture the action, but multiple cameras really bring a professional touch. You can easily repeat the process of introducing additional cameras and keyframes to your animation with just a few clicks. Moving ahead, you can see three cameras have been created. Visualize 2022 offers a much more direct approach to allow camera switching from one camera to the next. By creating a group on the timeline, you're able to keyframe in which camera you'd like to have active and when skipping the need to create additional edits in a third-party editing application. Going back through each of these three configurations, everything looks good and the final rendering process can begin. As progress moves along and each rendering finishes up, Visualize 2022 offers a new, updated output viewer to keep your project even more organized. 
Render settings can be reviewed and projects can be canceled or re-rendered as needed. And best of all, all project outputs are referenced and the final deliverables can be opened up directly from the output viewer. Year over year, SOLIDWORKS Visualize takes advantage of the latest rendering technology and simplifies it for every user. Creating world-class sales and marketing collateral like we see here with the Nemo has never been easier.